Have you ever been in a leadership meeting that was such a waste of time that you started calculating the hourly burn rate of that meeting? I recently participated in one that I estimated at a $3,000 meeting. Many organizations could save hours each month by improving the productivity of their leadership meetings and reaching decisions faster. Well-run leadership meetings are critical to the success, efficiency, and health of every organization. I like how author Patrick Lencioni put it. No action, activity, or process is more central to a healthy organization than the meeting. Good meetings are the origin of cohesion, clarity, and communication. So here are 10 ways to improve your regular leadership meetings. First, every meeting needs to have a clear purpose or set of objectives. Ask yourself, based on that purpose, who should attend the meeting and what topics should be covered. Second, always prepare an agenda and identify the desired outcome for each topic. Preparing an agenda in advance of the meeting keeps the meeting from being a waste of time for everyone. And if you don't have time to prepare an agenda in advance, then just take the first five to 10 minutes of the meeting as a group to decide the top priorities for the meeting. It's also important to decide the desired outcome for each topic on the agenda. So decide, discuss, and update are the most common ones. You should focus as much time as possible on decisions that need to be made, then on items that need to be discussed for a future decision, and leave as little time as possible for just updates. Those are best handled in a pre-read, which we'll discuss shortly. Three, separate operational and strategic issues. Sometimes strategic issues are even better reserved for a special meeting in order to allow adequate time for discussion. Four, start by asking everyone to answer a personal question. This helps to build personal connections among the leadership team. It also sets an expectation of participation by everyone. A leadership team meeting is not a spectator sport. Five, require pre-reading to be sent out so that everyone comes prepared with the background for decisions and discussion. One of the best time savers for a meeting is to have updates emailed ahead of time and then just take time during the meetings for questions or further discussion about those updates. And if you don't have time to send pre-reading or if people haven't read the pre-reading, do what Jeff Bezos at Amazon does. He takes a five minute study hall at the beginning of the meeting to read that background information before a decision is made. Six, capture action points during the meeting and review them at the end of the meeting. This ensures clarity and alignment. And if a subsequent decision is made, be sure to identify who has the authority to make that decision. Seven, remember that the goal is for the best idea to win, regardless of whose idea it is. So set some meeting ground rules in advance that will ensure maximum participation in the meeting. The goal here is healthy debate. It's especially important to have a robust decision-making process. No team makes the right decision every time but having a good process increases the odds of making good decisions. Eight, as the senior leader, you should speak last in order to avoid groupthink. Ideally, the whole group should decide the path forward, but as the leader, you may need to make the final decision if they don't agree. Nine, keep time limited. After about two hours, meetings become much less productive. Don't hesitate to take topics offline or to assign them to a subcommittee. And always keep in mind the opportunity cost. What else could your people be doing with this time? Lastly, inject some humor into meetings. It helps to keep people relaxed and engaged. Andrew Carnegie once said, there is little success where there is little laughter. Leadership team meetings set the tone of an organization. So great leaders of great organizations should plan and orchestrate great meetings. I like what Ryan Lilly says, be a pro at what you do. No one shows up to meetings for the unsuccessful skydivers club. So what have you found helpful in leading effective meetings? Thanks for watching.